Good day, YouTube. My name is Darren. Welcome to my channel. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In today's video, it's a real quick one. I'm going to show you how I recalibrate my Anon 7000 DLE Mark III. Okay, here's an example. We're on 20 meters, 14295. I'm going to turn on the audio here. Currently zoomed in. Looks like I'm a few hertz off. I'm going to fine tune it on my receive. There you go. So it looks like I'm 300 hertz off frequency. Okay. Here's another station here. I'm just going to zoom in right on it. So again, it seems like we're 300 hertz off, right? So I was tuning around the band and that's what I found out. I was like, why am I off frequency? Or is he purposely transmitting, you know, slightly off frequency? So I did some further investigation and uh, let me silence this. And I decided to go to uh, check out WWV. That's the uh, time tick, right? So here's WWV. I'm going to click on it. And we're going to try to pick up the strongest station. Here's the uh, audio. Nothing there. Have you heard of WWV? Have you listened to the time tick before? It's supposed to be a little higher in pitch, so that's slightly off frequency. Let me check another frequency. That one sounds a little bit better. And that sounds better there. Okay, the strongest station is the uh, 15 megahertz. Let me mute this. So when I was off frequency, I tested a time tick and I noticed on certain frequencies, I was slightly off freak on the reception. So this is what I, what I did. I went to set up. I went to calibration and under this box here, the freak frequency calibration. So that's the frequency. Um, I'm going to recalibrate, but actually I'm on the time tick. So 15, I'm going to change this to say 15 because that's the strongest signal. Okay. So I'm going to do a start. And then that's it. Frequency is calibrated and it tells you how much frequencies you're off. So I'm off frequency by this much. If you decide to use a GPS uh, DO, the GPS discipline oscillator, you can connect it behind the Anon uh, for the 10 megahertz reference and then put a check mark here. I currently I have one, but I don't have it at this station. I relocate it to the other station. So it's good to just uh, 
every now and then just to recalibrate your radio. So that's what I did. I did a recalibration and it shows me my correction factor. Let's go back to 20 meters and let's go back to that frequency. Um, I think it was 95 we were on. And here comes the unmute. A religious belief such as that. Uh, a lot of times, you know, I, I, I say I just steer away from it because one. I'll zoom in on this. Uh, I don't think like the average person, you know, because I'm a historian at heart. There you go. And uh, a lot of the stuff that you See, know. See now his audio is much clearer. Society these days and times, you know, uh, uh, I'm not in agreement with it, you know. And let's go to this and, uh, frequency that we tested earlier. I kind of keyed on the fact that uh, 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 the, uh, the other so one... So that's it. Did, you see how the, uh, clean the their uh, signal is or how clear, um, not slightly off frequency. I'm dead on now. Right here, 14290. So I will say 73s and Happy New Year to everybody. So, WW5 is... And then here... <laughs> I learned that from my grandson. 14295, I'm dead on. Anyway... Earlier I was at, what, 14294.700? That was a quick video, guys. I just want to show you how you can recalibrate your Anon if you don't have a GPS DO. A GPS Discipline Oscillator. You can use the WWV time tick to just recalibrate uh, your system. So 73s, my name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. See you in the next video.